you want to get a spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. I'm Chanel Greco from Saparis, and in this video, I'll show you the different possibilities you have to get a spreadsheet using Google Apps Script. Getting a spreadsheet is often the very first step in a Google Apps Script code. You'll notice that depending on the script, there are different ways to get an active spreadsheet or to access the active sheet. For starters, we need to understand the exact difference between spreadsheet and sheet because I know these words sometimes get used interchangeably, but they're actually referencing two very distinct things in Google Sheets. So first up is spreadsheet. This is our spreadsheet, the entire document with our different sheets. And that's the cue to what sheets are. This is a sheet. And I've given, I'm purposely given the name of the first, and this is the second, and this would be another sheet. We could call this demo or whatever. So spreadsheet versus sheet. Next up, we're gonna have a look at how we can get the active spreadsheet for a bound script. So you might know this, a bound script is an automation script that we write that is bound to a specific file. So I click on Tools, Script Editor, and this script here, this Google Apps script here, will only run on this specific file. So it's bound to this file. So the two different possibilities I have are get active and get active spreadsheet. Let me just go ahead and demonstrate this. So get spreadsheet. And I'm gonna name these variables spreadsheet one and spreadsheet two. Now in a lot of scripts that you find out in the wild that you might be using, that you might be copying and adapted to your needs, you will often just see SS and this stands for spreadsheet. I like to call it spreadsheet. I just like to give my variable names um, proper names because it makes it easier for me to read the script and it also makes it read easier for others to understand what I'm actually, what for values I'm actually storing in those variables. So let me go ahead and call the spreadsheet uh, one and spreadsheet app. Now this is something you know, um, this, we're using the spreadsheet app service in in order that we can actually interact with um, with our Google Sheets document. And then um, this is the autocomplete. So this is awesome because it tells me what for different methods I can use on this specific service. Um, and I'm looking for the get active. And as you see, it tells me that the return value is going to be a spreadsheet. So let me go ahead and choose that. And then the second is going to be, you know what, let me just go ahead and copy paste this up until here and modify whatever is going to be differently. Um, this time I'm going to use get active spreadsheet. Again, this is going to give me back a spreadsheet. There you go. And now um, to see what we're actually getting to verify if this is really the same document, um, I'm going to use the logger log to output the ID of these two different objects that I have saved. So let's say logger log. Um, get active. This is just to make it a bit more clear when we log it out to the logger. So the, the logger uh, or the log method on the logger object takes more than only one um, um, parameter or argument. And here uh, the first is a string saying that get active and then we're going to access our first variable, variable spreadsheet and now we're going to say get ID, uh, yes, that should be correct. There you go. And then the second, we're going to do pretty much the same thing, just that this time, and I have a typo there. That is not correct. Must be so. To correct this too. And with the second, we're going to say uh, spreadsheet because that's this here and it's not variable one, it's two, so it's spreadsheet two, get ID, good. So why don't we go ahead and save this and then run it. And yes, you get my permission, go ahead, please allow. This happens because it's the first time I'm using or I'm running this script in this session. 
There you go. So let's have a look at our logs. Um, view logs. I usually just hit um, command enter on my Mac computer. So there you go to get active spreadsheet. Mm, get active somehow didn't run. Let's do this again. So view logs. So the data should be coming in in a couple of seconds. There you go, we have our get active and our get spreadsheet, and in both case, the ID. Let's have a look at the last four digits um, or characters, V35C, V35C, and let's head over, so I'm gonna click on okay, to our spreadsheet, V35C. So yes, that's a correct ID. So we see we have these two possibilities. They do exactly the same thing. They give us back our active spreadsheet. Now, what about if we wanted our active sheet? Well, in that case, we could go ahead and say let sheet equals, again, spreadsheet add, and then we could say get active sheet. And let's lock this out, but the problem is here we cannot um, lock out the ID of the spreadsheet because we're directly referencing the sheet. So we have a different object here. But what we do have available is the get name of our sheet. So we can lock that out. Again, let's save our document. Let's go ahead and run this. And this time around, we should get a third line, which yes, get active sheet. Here you go, the first. And let me just say OK and go back to our document here at the bottom, the first. That is the active sheet that is active in the user interface at the moment. So let me go back. Did you notice something? And a lot of scripts that you find that also my tutorial videos, I usually get the spreadsheet, save it in a variable, then create a variable of sheets. So I do something like this. Let um, sheet equals spreadsheet two in this case dot get active sheet. Okay. So far, so good. But this here kind of like skipped it. So in spreadsheet get active sheet, it's already implicit that we've gotten the active spreadsheet. So why write two lines of code and just instead of one? Well, think of a scenario where you have this sheet here, the first, let's say, you're getting data here, you're sorting, you're filtering, you're deleting, whatever, and whatever remains, then you want to write it into the second. Well, then it's no good if you simply just have access to this, the first sheet. Instead, you need access to the whole spreadsheet and then um, separately go and access the sheets and get data from it and write it to another sheet. So that's why it, sometimes makes sense to split this into two separate steps, have two separate variables, so the spreadsheet in one and the active sheet in another, and sometimes it makes sense to directly go ahead and just get that active sheet because you don't need access to the spreadsheet, any other methods on the spreadsheet object, but instead you only need access to the methods on the specific sheet. Now on to our standalone scripts, because there's a huge difference there in how you would get an active sheet in a standalone script. I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to name this standalone, just in one word, who cares, there you go. And the function, I'm going to name it get sheet. You want to save time and money by automating Google Sheets? Head over to courses.saperis.io and I'll show you how. So this is not bound to any specific file, which also means that in order to, let's say, access a spreadsheet, I actually have to go and do something like the following. So let spreadsheet equals then our spreadsheet app dot. And now I'm going to open a file, let's say by ID. Let's go and get our same ID over here. Where is it? Up here in our URL. Let's 
copy that. Wrong one. Here you go. And then look what happens. If I now say dot get active, hmm, there is no get active and there is no get active spreadsheet. So this proves the fact that get active and get active spreadsheet, these are reserved to our bound scripts. So Google Apps scripts that are bound to a specific file. Here, on the other hand, I have the possibility of saying get active sheet. Let me do that. And now let's say logger.log. And let's just see, since we only have one variable here that we want to log out, let's just log out um, the uh, get. Uh, we don't have a get ID, but um, get name. Since this is a sheet, let me make sure to save this. Let's run the script. You absolutely have gene examples allowance to go ahead and run this script. Um, okay, very well. So let's have a look at the logs. The first. Okay, so this is a standalone um, script code that we created. And what we did is we, we said, okay, spreadsheet app service, go ahead and open the spreadsheet of this ID and then give me the active sheet. So with active sheet, um, I doesn't mean that it's the sheet is, is active in the sense that it's actually open in my browser and I have my cursor on this sheet uh, because this is happening on the ser this is happening on the server side. So on the server, um, this spreadsheet is being opened and then we're executing the get active sheet method on it and that gives me the possibility of getting the name. So I this for me is verifying that it was able to access the correct sheet and it gave me back this the name, so the first down here. While you're on YouTube, why don't you go ahead and check out my other video tutorials about Google Apps Script. And would you mind doing me a favor by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Apps Script or tools that are part of Google Workspace and I would not want you missing out on any of those video tutorials.